Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time you're watching this. It is good to be back. Today we are going to do some of these. Brand new from Tesco, we have got some hot and spicy chicken breast fillet burgers. Now we get two in it, 100% old fillet. And it's going to be really spicy. Let's have a look at back of it. Let's have a look at the side of it. I'm looking for a uh, temperature to see what gas might we put it on or what electric might we put it on. 200 degrees if you're on an electric oven. And if you're on a gas oven, they go on seven. Gas map seven. Oh, we do like a bit of spice now and then. I like to spice up my life a little bit. Let's take them out of the packet and have a look at them. Like I say, you get two of them. Quite big, actually. Yeah, yeah, quite big. I'm going to just have the one and then save one for another time. Because I think one would do me. Some people would want to eat both of them. But I'm going to eat just the one. Don't need to put it in the air fryer or into the oven. But I think we're going to stick this in the oven because I want it to cook separate from the chips today. So, because we have already cut some chips up, so we're going to... Yeah, I think we'll put that one in the oven today. Gas Mark 7 for 28 minutes. And we will tell you the cost of them on the bottom of the screen. I can't remember how much they were right now. But I'll tell you the bottom on the bottom of the screen what price they were. And, oh, do they smell spicy before we start? Well, not really. They smell frozen. <laughs> Let's stick them in the uh, oven and cook them. I've tried out new things, so, anybody, so if anybody's got any suggestions, I'm just putting it on the tray, then stick it in the oven. That was the smart stuff, wasn't it? So if anybody's got any suggestions, you can, of course, contact me on my new email address, or our new email address here at Funtimes, and it's funtimesagoodtimes at yahoo.com. Send me a message with any recipes or any new foods, what you want, might want me to try, or if I'm willing to give anything a go once. Apart from the hot nut challenge, yeah. <laughs> Seeing that many people do the hot nut challenge, but no, what we're doing that one. So if you have any suggestions, please do email me. I'll put it on the bottom of the screen down here again. I did that last time and it's gone on the bottom of the screen again. Now I've got to wait 28 minutes for these to cook. I'll get the chips in. Oh, well, they're going to take 28 minutes. I'm going to put the chips in at... About 20 minutes before. I've worked out that we've been cooking our chips a little bit too long. A little bit too, on a bit of a too high temperature. So we are going to cut the temperature down a little bit on them as well. So we are going to do the chips in the same way as we always do them. But we are going to take the temperature down a little bit because I think we have been cooking them a bit too much. So the chips are already cut. Put a bit of foil on them. And get them a little bit of a mix. If you've got a spray thing, you can actually spray them. A spray thing, you know what I mean. So give it a little mix like that. Get them fully coated. Then take them to the air fryer. Put them in there now. I'll put a little piece of air fryer liner in there. Then we're going to stick them straight on. Make sure they're quite separated from each other. So they've got plenty of room to breathe. And this time we're going to turn them on to about 140 for 15 minutes. So I'm going to go 140 for about 15 minutes this time. Like I said, we have been cooking them a little bit too long, so let's just take it round to there. And then, sorry about the shaky camera work, if there's any shaky camera work. Just as I was about to start, my tripod stand decided to break on me. So I'm going to have to get a new one of them, you know, for the gimbal. So I don't think you can buy them. I've been having a quick look on mine while I've been waiting for the... What they call them, burgers to cook a little bit, the chicken burgers. So I will have a look and see. I'm sure I'll be able to buy one somewhere. I was looking at Amazon first and they were about 15 quid. I thought, oh, it can get cheaper than that, surely. 
and I've looked at it, mate. I think I found one. So hopefully I can get new tripods to hand because uh, it's hard work without one. It really is. At least we've got the gimbal working again, dear boy, because that broke down on me, did it? But that started working again. She trusts me, but she thinks Drake on me all the time. But I've had it all three years anyway, so should be able to find one. We shall see. So wait for the chips to cook. Don't forget to turn them over after a little while. And so done for about 15 minutes. After about seven minutes, just turn them over and give them a toss around and and finish cooking. And they should be absolutely delicious at this time. Our chicken burger done in the oven after 28 minutes. I've just got on the plate and I can show you. We'll go and show you on the uh, thing then, but it weren't going to work. I'll show you on the plate. One, a chicken burger. Now we also have very can of flavoured baps as well. Flowered baps, not flavoured, flowered. Ian Reid proper, it says flowered, not flavoured. <laughs> okay. Now these are frozen. So I have taken one out. Let's cut it a little bit and have a look inside. It's supposed to be a pure chicken. And it is pure chicken. There you go. It smells spicy. Rolling away there. We're going to put some butter onto our little bat there. I do like baps. No mucky jokes, please. Right, let's put some margarine onto our baps or brown cake or whatever you want to call it if you're in scotland it's called a roll if you're in lancashire it's called a brown cake but it's american anyway so they're called baps so there you go and then we'll put our chicken burger on you won't normally cut it now like i just did but you put it on there like that get it on there Oh, that looks absolutely delicious. Say, absolutely, it smells delicious. It really does. Let's get the chips out. We've cooked them a little bit shorter than they normally do. Like I said, they have come out better. As you will see in a second, you can see there. There you go. You can see they're a lot better than they were. They're not burnt. <laughs> we normally burn them. And the best thing to do with that is just take the paper straight out. Without burning our little fingers. We don't want to burn our little fingers, do we not? And then put the chips onto the plate. Yes, sir. And then it's up to the paper. It just seems to want to cling to the paper, but there you go. Then you burn your finger again. I did burn it too much, don't worry. I've already had sore feet this week. I don't know if it burnt finger as well. There you go. And that looks absolutely delicious, doesn't it? Does that look absolutely delicious to you? Don't forget to put your vinegar on first. And then your salt, because otherwise... That's... And then put the wrong one on then. And put your salt on. Because if you put your salt on first, the vinegar washes the salt away. And we don't that thing, do we not? There you go. Now for the taste test on these chicken burgers. Or oh, this chicken burger, even not it's not chicken burgers. The plural is a tea eating tea from there. I want to be grabbing water when I took took into this. I don't know. Let's have a go. Yeah, that is nice. Oh, it's hot. I do have to say that it's quite hot. Quite red, quite spicy, but it's delicious as well. Mmm. Yeah, I think you would need to drink a bit of water with it as well because uh, actually, the longer it's in the mouth, the hotter it gets. But they are nice. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed. I'll be back again 
soon. But for no fun, I'm going to enjoy this. I really am. I'm going to be sweating the end of it, but I'm going to enjoy it. Thanks for watching. Until next time, keep walking on sunshine. Keep smiling. Look after yourselves. And until next time, remember fun times are always good times. I'll see you soon. Ciao for now.